Second Samuel chapter nine is uh, an amazing story about a great king who has great kindness towards an individual. The king is David. The individual is a son of Jonathan who was Saul's son. Saul who chased David, who treated him harshly, had a son named Jonathan who befriended David. And so the story is this, that David now is successful, David's now the king, and he's feeling reflective, he's thinking about the whole scenario, and he goes, are there any relatives? Because Saul and Jonathan have been killed in battle. Are there any offsprings, any relatives left of Saul's family that I can be kind to, that I can help? And so he sends people out to look, and they come back and say, yeah, there, there's a son named Mephibosheth, that's his name, and he's crippled in both feet. And so David sends for him and he comes to him and he's afraid. He's thinking perhaps that David wants to wipe out the rest of Saul's family. But, but listen to what happens here in verse 7. So say, David said to him, speaking to this person, Mephibosheth, who's crippled in both feet. He says, do not fear, for I surely will show you kindness for Jonathan, your father's sake. And I'll restore to you all the land of Saul, your grandfather and you shall eat bread at my table continuously." So, so David, out of grace and kindness, he shows favor to this crippled man who was the son of Jonathan and the grandson of Saul because he felt like this was the kind thing to do. And when you read that story and you think about that passage, it, it reminds you of, well, maybe yourself, how God found you and maybe you were lame, maybe you were in some way crippled in your faith or in your heart, and, and he restores you. He, he comes to you with kindness and grace. You don't deserve it. Perhaps you were an enemy of his at one time. That was the case with Saul's family. And he restores him. He, he gets to eat from his table like we do, like the table of the Lord, so to speak, with sharing in communion and feeding from his word. And God is, a, is, is showing us through this story of David how he restores us to himself. And he takes a, a crippled, fearful person who thinks he's being kind of called on the carpet and he gives him back land, he gives him food, he gives him dignity. And this is the story, I think, of most Christians, that God comes into our life restores us to himself. We're no longer his enemy, we're his friend. We eat from his table. We, re we receive all the blessings that he has for us in life. And David paints this wonderful picture for us here in 2 Samuel chapter nine of a king reaching out to someone who thinks they're going to be judged. Instead, they're completely restored in a way they never ever expected. It's really the story of, well, those who come to Christ, restored and given a life that they never really deserved, never really expected, but the King is gracious and the King is kind. And of course, our King is the Lord Jesus Christ.